I'd like to welcome Kazumine Akimoto, Senior Research Fellow of the Ocean Policy Research Institute of the Sasakawa Peace Foundation. In a recent paper that you published on the SPF website, you discussed the history of pandemics all the way back from the Epic of Gilgamesh to today. And one of the main themes of your policy paper was about the concept of globalization. So I'd like to begin with a discussion of how you see the current COVID-19 pandemic potentially impacting the concept of globalization. Yes, I suggested in my paper that the international society uh, should take advantage of this rare opportunity to reshape the globalization so as to create more uh, favorable and uh, stable uh, one. We observe in our uh, human history that pandemic uh, brought out through globalization and uh, impacted social order and uh, international relations. Uh, the Black Death, for instance, the uh, in the 14th century spread in the Eurasia. The Eurasia in those days was amid uh, Eurasia globalism brought by Mongolia Empire. The Spanish flu spread to every corner of the world during the First World War and caused a pandemic after the war. The First World War triggered by the 1914 and lasted until 1918. During this period, more than 70 million soldiers deployed around the world. The Spanish flu was made into a pandemic by the globalization of war. Both pandemics, the Black Death and the Spanish flu, caused a paradigm shift to the social orders and international structures, namely uh, change the normal to a new normal. The word new normal is uh, used usually for a uh, lifestyle, though let me use this word uh, for social order and international relations too. The Black Desk changed the power structure of Europe in the Middle Ages. The Monolar system collapsed and the feudal status order was dismantled. The church authority fell off and the religious, reform, uh, religious reformation began and the Renaissance progressed. The conventional regime of medieval Europe drastically changed. The Spanish flu pandemic began after the end of the First World War. It had a great impact on the reconstruction of the World War era. The boundaries of the territory in the sovereign states were consolidated, and the people sought after strong political leadership. In the background of the uh, prevailing populism, Nazism appeared. On the contrary to the idea of the League of Nations advocated by uh, then U.S. President Woodrow Wilson, the world proceeded to the formation of power blocks. Responding your question of COVID-19 pandemic might reshape the concept of globalization, I think most of nations cannot escape from the international movement of reshaping the globalization. Reshaping will inevitably take place, I think, because uh, we can see the exclusive nationalism and uh, protectionism in the uh, driving actors of current globalization, especially in the United States, China, and the EU. The US used to be a uh, strong driving power of global economy, but now is the nation claiming America first. China is enjoying a benefit of globalization as 
the corner, center of the supply chain. Now the US and China are escalating confrontation over the outbreak of COVID-19. Both in diplomacy and military. As for the European countries, major、uh, European Union states decided to adopt lockdown procedure to prevent the spread of COVID 19. There is concern that the idea of the EU will be endangered by、uh, city lockdown. The 1649 Westphalian treaties reconfirmed the exclusive national power and balance of power among European states. I cannot deny that the European world may return to Westphalian sovereignty. Nevertheless, globalization should not be stopped if we want to, if we want to invigorate our economy. Activity again. What is needed then is the idea of reshaping the globalization. Reshaping means the movement of creating more favorable and stable globalized world. The most important is to promote、uh, liberal democratic governance and to contain the influence of authoritarianism. For realizing such governance, constitutional state that a d o p t liberal democracy and abide by international law should reconfirm the necessity of establishing a global order in diplomacy, economy, and security. As for even another question whether the world、uh, could return to normal or Go to another normal, normal. I'd like to say that the international society must take advantage of this opportunity to create a new normal, which provides a stage、uh, for more stable and stable global, globalism by realizing the world governed by the policy based on liberal democracy. In your paper, you, you talk about the global issue, including climate security, and you draw a connection between the concept of climate security and also what you call pandemic security. What are these two concepts, and how do you see them as related?、Uh, pandemic has、uh, strong relations, not only with the globalization, but also the environmental problems. Uh, nowadays, uh, people in the world are combating with global warming caused by human, ori- human originated climate change, labeling it as climate security,、uh, taking it an issue of the agenda for a、uh, comprehensive security concept. As one view, the comprehensive security. Is the concept of challenge to overcome the trilemma, trilemma among the、uh, promoting development, environmental protection, and ensuring security. As well as global warming, pandemic is associated with the environmental problem. Many histories show unknown plague. Breakout at the occasion of close encounters、uh, between humankind and unknown life form or unknown object in unusual or contaminated environment. Now, human society must establish a new security concept to control pa- pandemic as an agenda of comprehensive security. I named it pandemic. Security in this paper. Pandemic security and climate security are common a g e n d a in the globalization world. We should incorporate pandemic security and climate security into the effort of reconstructing, namely reshaping globalization after the termination of the COVID 19, so that 
uh, we can uh, resolve the problem of the global warming and serious epidemic uh, simultaneously. What do you see as the critical actions for governments or academia, um, international governing bodies, or even individuals to confront these new security challenges? For international government governing bodies, uh, it is firstly recommended to uh, investigate and verify about where is the outbreak place and what procedures are suitable to control infection. The result will provide a base of future pandemic security. And for uh, each government, uh, it is requested to reshape the globalization, what I mentioned in, uh, at my paper. And for academics, we should propose policymakers to review the concept of comprehensive security in the reshaped globalizing world. At Ocean Policy Research Institute of the Sasaka Peace Foundation, the uh, security team is now uh, tackling the uh, project named uh, Climate Security Governance, uh, in which we are now uh, studying on how the uh, uh, military force and the uh, law enforcement force to the, uh, make effort to resolve the uh, uh, climate problems uh, caused by uh, global warming. And we will be planning to have an international conference uh, last uh, 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 next February or March, uh, the year of uh, 2021. And uh, uh, I, uh, we would like to uh, make a proposal.